In this video, I'm going to talk about wiring batteries in series or parallel. Let's get started with the basics and expand on several items later in the video. If we wire in series, the voltage gets added up while the capacity stays the same. Take these 12 volt batteries for example. If we wire them in series, we will have a 24 volt, 100 amp hour battery. Do not series connect different voltage or capacity batteries. If we wire our batteries in parallel, the capacity will increase while the voltage stays the same. If we take the same batteries, we will have 12 volts and 200 amp hours. Do not parallel connect different voltages. Different capacity batteries can be connected in parallel if they have the same chemistry. When we connect our battery in series, the voltage will increase. If we have a higher voltage battery, we can decrease the thickness of the wire. This will save us money on wiring costs. It will also be cheaper for a charge controller. Let's say you have an array of 700 watts and want to charge a 12 volt battery or a 48 volt battery. With a 12 volt battery, you need a charge controller of 60 amps, while a 48 volt battery only needs a 15 amp charge controller. When we connect our batteries in parallel, the capacity is increased. This is useful for our C rate. I did a video on this which you can check out on my channel. We will recap it here shortly. When you increase the capacity of a battery, you will increase the lifespan of it. Let's say you have a lead acid battery that is 12 volts, 100 amp hours, and you have a 1000 watt inverter. The C rate of a lead acid battery is 0.2 C, or in this case 20 amps. To feed your inverter, you will draw about 83 amps. This is much more than the recommended 20 amp charge and discharge rate. While the system might work, it will reduce the lifespan and the capacity of the battery due to heat generation. It's much better to have four batteries in parallel if you have already bought your 12 volt inverter. Otherwise, the voltage of the battery should be increased. Let's use four batteries in parallel and do the same calculation. 400 amp hours times 0.2 C is 80 amps. We can see that 80 amps is about what the inverter will draw. This is a better configuration. We can add series and parallel together. If you have four 12 volt 100 amp hour lead acid batteries and a 1000 watt 24 volt inverter, you can make one big 24 volt 200 amp hour battery. If we calculate the C rate for the system, it would be 200 amp hours times 0.2 C is 40 amps. The maximum current demand from the inverter will be 1000 watts divided by 24 volts is 41 amps. This is a properly sized system that will give you a long battery lifespan. There are a few items we need to take into consideration when wiring our batteries together. The first one is to not mix batteries of different chemistries. Another one is to not connect batteries with a different state of charge. The inrush current will be bad for the battery. Instead, bring them to the same voltage first and then connect them. Do not series connect batteries with a different age. The capacity of these will be reduced and reduce the total capacity of your battery. When connecting two or more batteries in parallel, make sure the wires are the same length. Otherwise, one battery will work more than the other. We can solve this by installing a bus bar and having every wire going to the bus bar the same length. Every parallel battery should have a fuse installed. For lead acid, this can be an ANL fuse. For lithium, it can be a circuit breaker, class T fuse or a rail mount fuse which is more popular in Europe. All of these have a high current braking capacity. If one battery were to fail, it will not deliver current to the other battery. If your battery bank is subject to vibrations, make sure it's mounted securely. 
Maintain cool battery temperatures to increase lifespan. Make sure lead acid batteries can be ventilated, even when it's sealed. Do not charge lithium batteries below freezing. It will damage the battery. Some lithium batteries cannot be connected in series. If you plan on doing so, make sure you get a battery that can. Wear safety equipment when wiring your batteries. Remove jewelry and use insulated tools. Right now, lithium iron phosphate server rack batteries are inexpensive for what they have to offer. I hope this video answered your questions about connecting batteries. If you liked the video, please click the like button, consider subscribing, and if you want to learn more about off-grid solar power, check out my book on the subject.